Holidays Fitness. I'm Ruthie, Ruthie Wolf, and I'm here today, Saturday, March 21st, spring, yeah. Um, I'm here to give you a personalized workout at home, and it will be about 45 minutes. You'll need a mat, you'll need floor to move, okay? What we are working on today is the core and more, and you'll see why. So I've been practicing this week, and um, I can really feel it. Core, not just abs, we're not talking about six packs, although that's cool. We're not just talking about six packs, we're talking about the core that helps with all your functional movements, your daily, everyday movements, especially now. The raking, the gardening, the yard work, your yards are looking amazing, I'm sure. The inside work, the cleaning the closets out, getting down and moving things. In fact, we're going to be doing the loading dock today. And um, just daily functional training. So this is going to work the core. And two kinds of movements. Static, where we stay still. Think about a plank, where you're just holding that. You're thinking, what, what is this doing for me? Amazing. And also um, dynamic movements. So when we're doing forward stepping lunges and backward stepping lunges, we're talking about dynamic movement. And you might be saying, well, that's leg work. Well, actually, the dynamic movement works your core. Think about walking uphill, okay? So um, static and dynamic. Now, we're doing a Tabata style core and more. Three circuits of four to five exercises. We go through them one time. But each exercise has a work hard, hi if you're just joining us now, it's 10 o'clock, a work hard, I'll show you the movement, 10 second break, we work hard for 40 seconds, 10 second break, work harder, I'll show you another modification to the movement or a tweak to make it a little harder, rest 10 seconds, and then work hardest for the last 20 seconds. So it's 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. That makes the Tabata. Then we're done with that exercise, we move on. I know I'm yapping, but I do miss teaching so much. Hi kids, if you're watching. All right, um, so what you need, I do have sneakers on, although you really don't even have to have sneakers on. My new kids, yep, they do. Okay, um, and a mat. And if you don't have a mat, get down on the floor, get on the rug, and if you're just watching, Get up and move, people. Come on, Steph. Come on, Brenda. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to if you're watching. Okay, so we're gonna get it started. You, it may be hard to hear the, the music in the back, but I'll let you know when it's time to break. And we're gonna start with a warm up, okay? So here we go, warming up the box. Little JT.
First Market, Folly Beach, South Carolina. All right, so we're going to do the next Tabata. All right, this one's going to start standing. And I just want to tell you guys why I like to talk without the music. I'll be here tomorrow morning. We're going to do strength and length, lengthening the muscles. So that's going to be a um, kind of like a body pump with hand weights for Kansas soup and um, Pilates. Okay, tomorrow, 10 a.m. This next round, we're going to start standing five movements, reverse lunges with the reach, loading dock, side lunge reaching, then we're going to get down on the mat again. Okay, so get prepared. This is where I like to have my sneakers, but you don't have to. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Lynn. She just gave me a towel. Not that I'm a big sweater, but it looks professional. Okay, everybody, come on up. First one. It's going to be step back, give me that lunge, and then reach over. Okay? Watch. Step back, come on. Reach over. Step up, switch. Am I still on the camera? Okay, because I can't do it. Do you see the difference of what I'm doing? I'm stepping back. I'm making sure I'm bending that back knee. Reaching over, yeah, balance back. Step back, give me the lunge, reach over. Step back, give me the lunge, reach over. It's easier to see this bend from the side. A lot of times people lunge, they might go back too far, and you can't, you can't get the bend. Now, we're going to switch it. We're going to step forward, lunge, reach over. Push off the heel when you're coming back, okay? So step forward. Give you the lunge, and then reach over. Notice that you're leaving. Step forward, lunge, reach. Now, stay low, pushing off the heel in the front. Activating the glutes again. You feel that hammies? Watching these cars go by. All right, last round, you choose. I'm going to the backwards one, because they're my least favorite. So I know that it's working some. Now, step back, we're going to the lunge, reach. Or you're coming forward. Forward, step in lunge. Whichever you want to do. Oh, yeah. If you go back too far, you can't get that 90 degree bend in the knees. Loading duck. Perhaps you've done this. I'm going to step wide. I'm going to reach down. I'm going to pick up my load. I'm going to turn and put it up on the shelf. Join me now. I'm going to do one side first. I turn the opposite foot to reach down and load up. If you can see my feet, this will avoid knee injury. Put it up on the shelf. Reach down. When you're getting that load, bend those knees. Brace your core. Down. And up. Rebound. Done. Guys, this is really important about when you're bending and lifting. If you don't bend knees and brace core, guess what's going to suffer? Right back here. We're going to do the other side. This is a little shorter. We'll make up for it in the third set. So we're going to turn, reach, and put it up on the shelf. Go. Oh, yeah. Quickly spare. Kesha. This is such a good one. Now, if you want to use a hand weight, boom, boom. Going. Third bell, done. So guys, 
You can have hand weights, but what Lynn is trying to convey here is a workout can be done in your home, boom, like that. You don't need anything during these times except the positive spirit. Okay, same side, a couple times, just a few times, and then one more. Now, this is double double. Tap, tap, shoot. Tap, tap, shoot. Now, for one more, come up on your toes when you shoot. Shoot on your toes. Proper squat here. Right. Done. All right, um, side lunge reach. We're going to start it out slow. Stepping over, reaching to the outside of the foot. Hands on the back like Hans Christian Anderson. Let's do it. Start off easy. Kind of like speed skater. Only we're starting out slow. Keep that neck neutral. I lift as I come up. Oh yeah. Feeling it. Feel the core. Feel the legs. And more. The belt done. Now, we're going to add a hop if you want. We're going to hop in between here, kick up the cardio a little bit. Okay? We're so going into a bone. Are you ready? There's people out there. There's people out there, friends. Ready? Add that hop. So you're going a little faster. Try to lift it in between. Just a tad. Shake it out. Sally, are you watching? Jackie, my Bible buds, you watching? Get up and do it. All right, third round, kick it up a notch. A little faster. You don't have to come up as high. Oh, yeah. You can hear me panting. This is cross crunch, lay back, heels, elbows up, crunch, touch the knees, heels, touch the knees. I want you to keep your heels tapping. Keep the elbows pointing straight up from your shoulder when you lay back. No. Or, do straight up and down. 
your ball. Cross, cross. Okay. Okay. Last exercise for this circuit. It's ISO bicycles. ISO meaning we're gonna bicycle, but we're gonna hold for one count. Okay? So here we go. We cross the hole. Cross the hole. Cross the hole. Here's your option. Touch down the toe. You don't have to extend. Oh yeah, here's still the feel. Keep the elbows wide. Or extend. Now, I was touching my elbow. Keep going. I was touching my elbow. You want to think about your shoulder towards your knee. Okay? Shoulder towards your knee in the hole. You'll feel the difference. You can't get up the floor. Okay, so now you can hear elbow towards me. It's an hold, that's the iso part. The isometric holding it. Alright? Lay back. It sure feels good when I'm going like this, but that's not the same. I want like this. Okay? Here we go. Legs up. And cross hold. Cross hold. Cross hold. Think about shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder. Uh-huh, come on. Cross and hold. It's slower than you want it to be. Yeah. Easy does it. Throw it down. Rest. Okay, so those of you speed demons out there in this last 20 seconds. Speed. Full out speed bicycles, okay? Rain, are you watching? Proud of you, you recover. Take care of your body. Here we go. Fast without hitting yourself in the head. Just go, go, go. Pump in the legs. Work in the core. So down. Rest. Okay. Break water. All right, so our last circuit, we're going to start off all down on, it's all on the floor. It will lead us into our cool down. Okay, um, now here's the thing, guys. These are going to be uh, some plank moves, some runner lunges, and that's when we talk about static movement. If you want to work your core on a daily basis, Get in the habit of doing planks, either on your elbow in the hover form or up on the arms, okay? Try to do some push-ups every day. My son-in-law challenged us to do 100 push-ups a day. We were starting in November. And, um, you know, that's really something to work up to. Not consecutive, but 100 push-ups in a day. You can do it. Knees, toes, whatever. That is working cool. Total body, okay? So the first movement is a runner's lunge with a push-up. Second is bird dog. Then we have the Superman on our bellies, okay? Then we get into the elbow planks with clock and possibly mountain climbers, okay? Yeah. All right, so the runner's lunge is gonna be first and it's gonna look like this, all right? So, y'all know the runner lunge, okay? We're gonna take our hands to the inside of the foot. We're gonna push up, we're gonna feel tricep push-up work here. We're going to come down and up. However, I want you to challenge yourself after you do a few to push those toes, get up on the toes, come down and up. We'll do one side, we'll switch, we'll do the other side, we'll add a couple extra, and then we're going to go to straight push-ups. Now, when you're doing the push-ups, hands under shoulders, feet can be wider for more stability. You can be on your knees, but I want you to come down and up, keeping your eyes on the mat, and no cheating like we used to do in elementary school, like this. We thought we were doing push-ups. We were, but we were cheating. Um, the other thing is, try not to let your elbows go out to the side, rotate them in, and then give me some good push-ups to the end. Okay? You only have to get down to your, your chest to your elbow, okay? 
Come on down. Take that wanderer's lunge pose. One leg forward. Start on your knee. Place those hands to the side, inside of the foot. Start down the
the wide straddle. Inhale up, exhale, bend to one side. Inhale, reach up. I want this song to be my legend song. Yeah, because I was here. Come to the center. Walk those hands forward. All right, ideally, we should hold a stretch for 30 seconds. I know in body pump we don't. Yoga, yes. But think about it as you're watching the Hallmark channel. Let's get down for one stretch. Roll it up. Come on up to a low back stretch. I'll turn sideways. Okay, so I'm going to tuck my chin and push up. I'm going to inhale, maybe that cat cow, wiggle the butt a little bit. Exhale, round. Drop hands. Hold your elbows and just sway side to side. Yeah. 